Okay, what's going on everybody? It's your boy, John from the Game Video here. Welcome you back to another episode of Danganronpa 2. Goodbye, Despair. And in this episode, we're doing the second half of Trial 3. Um, obviously, we're going to overwrite this and the trial is reopened. I'm Monami. Once again, I've been put in such an unreasonable situation. Seriously, he's like the king of unreasonableness. Why did it turn out like this? We were supposed to have a fun, friendly school trip, but it turned out all bloody instead. No! This definitely cannot be allowed. That's why I want you to remember this. Everyone, do your very best. Don't lose to yourself. And don't forget to save frequently. The reason the killer did an imitation murder is a reason is a reason other than falsifying the evidence of the murder sequence. That's something that doesn't even exist. Uh, it suddenly got quiet in here. <sighs> did I confuse you? If so, I wish I could die from self-loathing. Man, this again. If that's the case, it would have been just dandy if they had gone ahead and killed me too. If that happened, the imitation would have been perfect. So why didn't they do that? Well, it's against the rules to kill three people in the first place. That rule is too harsh. I couldn't get killed because of that. Seriously, just shut up already. Shut up forever. Facts. But I'm thinking about it again, then. He's totally right. It feels incomplete. Because they didn't kill three people like the movie did? That's only because of Monokuma's rule. It's not just that. Come on, try to remember the content of the movie. About the lion that got killed second. That's the one Hyoko's body was imitating, right? Hmm. Even though we're calling it an imitation, the lion was actually pinned by arrows, right? Well, that's why I was confused during the section and what they were talking about when it comes to the imitation. Um... So carry on. But Hiyoko's body was suspended by common household duct tape. Maybe they just used a common substitute because it was too difficult to imitate the arrows. Typically that doesn't matter in an imitation that murder. Probably it, but that attitude is what makes this feel incomplete. Yep. If falsifying the murder sequence was the killer's plan from the very beginning, they should have taken steps to properly imitate it. But if we never realized it was a half-assed imitation, their entire plan would have been completely useless. What are you trying to say? Are you saying the imitation wasn't planned? I'm saying, Yoko's murder wasn't. What? Yoko's murder wasn't planned. Wasn't enough, but aren't you making a bunch of assumptions? It's not just the poor imitation, there are also other strange details. Strange details, like what? Like, for example, why did Hyoko go to the music venue? Why did Hyoko go to the music so, venue? You're saying the truth behind Hyoko's murder is hidden? I have no freaking clue what you're trying to say. However, this is getting quite interesting. My four dark devas of destruction are getting riled up. Why Hiyoko went to the music venue? If that's the key to all this, I need to find out, no matter the cost. Sonya's account. It's not there! Oh my god. Why did Hiyoko... Motel room key? Maybe the killer summoned her. If that's not it, maybe she got abducted by the killer. No, maybe she went of her own free will. Oh, I, I was right! I was right! I was right! I was right! Ah! She was guided by the will. Of she did go by our own free will, and the key proves that. I was right, and I should have just kept with my gut. Maybe the killer summoned. If that's not Maybe she got a no. Maybe she went of her own free will. I agree with that. It's 
just as Sonia said, she went to the music venue of her own free will. So, exactly as I assumed. If no one called for her, then why did she go? Loco locked herself in her room because she was being overly cautious of the despair disease, you know? I don't think a person like that would leave their room just because someone called for them. There's no way she got abducted? Kyoko locked the room she was staying in before she went out. If she was forcibly taken from her room, there's no way she would have had time to lock it. The killer could have locked her door, right? Just to hide the fact Hyoko got abducted. That doesn't make sense. They wouldn't know where the key is. <clears throat> Then they couldn't have hidden her room key that deep in her kimono. Yep. They would have put it somewhere more obvious. Absolutely. Otherwise, there's no point in messing with the crime scene if nobody finds the key. At the time, you were the one who actually took out the key, right? Then something like that. I won't lose. Why are we? What are we over whoa, 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 whoa. Are you saying my gut was wrong? This could be my first and last highlight of the day. Why won't you just let me shine already? Because you're wrong. No, that's not the issue. Shut up! Enough with your fancy talk. I'll shut you up right now. Step ladder, candle, smudge on the floor, Mikon's account, surveillance monitor. Kyoko was locked inside her room, right? Oh, whoops. She definitely got abducted or something. The killer forced her way into Kyoko's room. Forcibly abducted her. The girl was so small and weak, and that's why the killer targeted her. But Hyoko's room was locked. The key was deep inside her kimono, remember? It's more likely that Hyoko locked the door herself. The killer was the one who locked the door. So what if the key was in her kimono? Maybe the killer just put it there later. We're advancing again. The killer to put the key in Hyoko's kimono. The killer probably didn't realize she even had the key. Hold on. Try remembering Hyoko's body. Her kimono was all messed up. There's only one reason her kimono would be that messed up. She fought the killer. Nope. That's the proof she was abducted, right? My gut is totally right after all. Hold on. Try remembering Yoko's body. Her kimono was all messed up. Oh, it's not Sonya's. Crap. Hold on. Try remembering Yoko's body. Her kimono was all messed up. There's only one reason her kimono would be that messed up. She fought the killer. There we go. Cut through those words. The reason Hyoko's kimono was messed up was because she wasn't able to properly wear it. Wear her kimono? Yeah. It's also the reason why she decided to go out on her own. Hyoko seemed to be really struggling with wearing her kimono. I believe that was one of the reasons she locked herself in her room. That is why I informed her. I told her that there was a full-length mirror at the music venue, and I suggested that she use it. Then, the reason her kimono was messed up wasn't because she fought the killer. Yeah, she went to the venue on her own just to fix her messed up kimono. I, I get it. I lost. Spoil me, burn me, take off my clothes, do whatever you want to me. No. Hajime, now's your chance. Make her admit defeat. Or better yet, make her do a little something something. <sighs> I can't stand this either. I can't stand when Hajime has like a horn dog moment. Then the killer probably couldn't have assumed that Hyoko would go to the music venue. Though that may not apply to Sonya, since she provided Hyoko with that information. Though I knew she would go there, there is no way I could have predicted when she would arrive. Don't go doubting Miss Sonya, you cretin. I'll put you and your hamsters six feet under. <laughs> Kazuichi, it seems you have quite the fashion sense. Do you want me to incinerate your clothes? Perhaps I could do that while you're wearing them. Gundam, please stop. For his sake. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> for my sake? Whoa! Of course. I've already overlooked no less than ten opportunities to kill you. Even if the killer couldn't predict it. Why did Hyoko get killed in the music venue? He could have seen. She could have seen the scene. The only thing I can think of is it was an unfortunate coincidence. Co coincidence? Yeah. When she went to the venue by herself, she was probably just unlucky and walked in on the crime scene. Yep. She was killed so there wouldn't be any loose ends? Yep. It probably happened when the killer was preparing to kill Ibuki. The killer most likely had already placed the hemp bag over her head. 
and without hesitation. Killed Hyoko. Because the killer used that coincidence for their crime, it made this case even trickier. That's the reason they imitated the movie to falsify the murder sequence. Which means that low-down scoundrel didn't plan on committing imitation murders at first. Then what was the killer actually planning to do? They've been cunning this far. There's no way they'd kill Ibuki without a plan. Do, do you have any ideas? Damn, you don't know the most important part. The killer's plan from the beginning. I'm pretty sure we're, we're very, very close. Hey, Nagito, any ideas? Hey, how long are you going to stay quiet? Oh, am I allowed to speak? <laughs> I'm so happy I'm getting goosebumps. Everyone actually needs help from scum like me. So what do you think? I was thinking about it while I had my mouth shut. But now I'm finally able to come to a conclusion. Ibuki definitely didn't commit suicide. No. Huh? What are you talking about? I thought there might be a possibility that she faked her death and tampered with the crime scene. But now I remember. There was blood on Ibuki's slippers. No, we totally didn't cover that either. So if she faked her death and walked around the music venue tampering with the crime scene, there'd be bloody footprints left in various places throughout the venue. I'll give you that as a fair point, but that's also obvious. So that's why I think there's no way she faked her death. There's no way Ibuki committed suicide. You know, we already finished talking about that a while ago. Huh. Really? That's annoying. I guess I should just awkwardly laugh about it then. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? There's no limit to how useless you can be. You're the best, Nagito. Wait a minute. If Ibuki had blood on her feet, there'd be footprints all over the place if she kept walking around. Strange. It's very strange. This is strange? Well, what's strange? I see. It's not something we finished talking about. Those footprints, they're still an important clue that we completely overlooked. Just as Nagito said, if she had blood on her feet, she would have left footprints. Then why weren't there any footprints on the... If Ibuki used the stepladder to hang herself, it's strange that there weren't any footprints on it. Huh? There weren't? Yes, that stepladder was completely clean. No footprints or blood stains at all. Okay, gotta retract my statement. Nagito was helpful, technically speaking, but just in a condescending way. And so it, it gets to me because he was doing things in condescending ways. But he was helpful. Do you notice such a small detail? How amazing! This is truly the talent of a chosen ultimate. Technically, you noticed it. I didn't think about it. So I got to give you credit where credit is due. You were obviously leading us to this. Why did you bring up the suicide topic after all this time? Nagito Kom Komita, you're definitely someone I shouldn't underestimate. Uh, didn't you say you saw that video of Ibuki climbing the stepladder? Then I think there's no doubt that she really did climb it. Unless there was something funny about that video. I see. So there was some kind of trick arranged in that video, hmm? But that's something only Hajime would know, since he's the only one who saw that video. So just as I thought it comes down to that, the mystery surrounding this incident is contained in that video, and whether or not we can reach the truth. I'm getting another logic dive. Is, Hajime, I'm... I leave it in your hands. As long as I leave this to you, I won't tell you to do your best, but... Oh well, you should get started already. Yeah, I'll definitely try. If there was some kind of hidden clue in that video, I should have, should have seen something strange as I watched it. I'm the only one who can clear that up. Logic dive. I'm the only one who actually saw that video. So I'm the only one who can actually do it. The hanging video that I saw, based on everything that we know from the database thus far, we should be able to figure out what's strange.
Oh, I didn't think a spot selection would be the thing. That's right, I remember now. There was definitely something strange about that video. Can you explain it to us? What's strange is that stepladder I mentioned earlier. Yeah. It's true that the steps of that stepladder weren't dirty, but on one side, there was a blood stain right on the left side of the stepladder. However, that contradicts the video I saw at the hospital. There weren't any blood stains on the stepladder in the video. It was completely clean. That is truly strange. If the video showed the moment of Ibuki's death, then Hyoko should have already been dead by that point. Even so, the fact is the stepladder had blood on it at the actual crime scene. The stepladder in the video was completely bloodless. And there's no way the video was recorded in advance. If that's the case, the only thing I can think of is... It's possible those two stepladders were completely different. Wait, are you saying there were two stepladders? But where would you find another stepladder? There was only one stepladder in the music venue. Then was one there? Of the stepladders was somewhere other than the music venue. <laughs> what do you mean? You're suggesting that the stepladder in the video isn't the only thing that's different. Am I right? That's amazing, Chiaki. All that gaming has given you incredible deduction skills. Is it okay to say that? They got the stepladder from the hospital. Stepladder isn't the only thing that's different, huh? Chiaki said the stepladder was at a different place, but if that's the case, the thing that's different between the video and the actual crime scene is that thing, the place where the killer did something. Hangman's Gambit. Conference room. Whoa! Not conference room. <laughs> Film. Filming. 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 Filming, lo filming location. Oh my god. T A I O N. I. Ah. Well, I'll need an O. Actually, it's not right now. Go, 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 go. Hey, man, that's the thing that gets me, dude. I don't know. Besides the stepladder, the filming location must have been different too. What do you mean? I mean, the video I saw was not filmed at the music venue. It was filmed somewhere else. But the hospital monitor is supposed to display footage captured by the music venue camera, you know? Then, there's a possibility that the killer also tampered with the surveillance camera unit. In order to show us that they filmed the video in the music venue instead of somewhere else, what did the killer do to the surveillance camera unit? Logic dive. Okay, this is what I was expecting the last one. Question one. Which part of the surveillance camera did they tamper with? Oh, I, I'm probably wrong because it's not, yeah. It's gold. Oh, it tells you it's the golden one. The camera, which is what I would have picked if I realized I should have slowed it down. Because the camera's the only one that's, that matters here. I need to slow myself down and not try and go hyperspeed. 
Question two. Did the killer tamper with the camera at the music venue or the hospital? Uh, it would be the music venue one, right? Because it has to be that one. Because that's the one that shows the evidence. So it has to be something that was in the music venue. Because was in it, or in there. So that's one of the five people that were in the music. Oh my god. Question three. What did the killer do with the camera? They took it with them. Because the only way to display the way they were working. The killer just brought the camera from the music venue. With it, they made me think it was a live feed from the venue, when it was actually from somewhere else. Then, only the monitor was left in the music venue? Yes, at least when I first discovered Ibuki's body. But when Gyoko's body appeared, the killer probably put the camera back too. That means you should have realized that from the start, and made this easier on all of us. He did discover the body. I doubt his attention was focused on the camera. That's true, but in order to hide that the camera was missing, the killer did one more thing to the remaining monitor. The thing the killer did to the remaining monitor was destroyed it. I see. The killer smashed the monitor to pieces, destroying it. As long as it was in pieces, you wouldn't be able to tell if the camera was actually there or not. My attention was so focused on the body that even I couldn't have noticed something like that. And the moment Hajime left the music venue, the killer put back the camera they took. And they destroyed it and left that in pieces as well. It's easy to say it was filmed somewhere else, but the surveillance camera's connection wasn't that strong. Despite Kazuichi's desperate repair efforts, it seems it could not transmit from the hospital to the motel. The fact that it was able to connect between the hospital and the music venue is amazing enough. Which means even if it was filmed in another place, as long as it was transmitting to the hospital, the range would be pretty limited. If that's the case, where the video, where was the video filmed to make it look like it was filmed at the music venue? Only possibility is that place inside that building. A third hangman's camera. This is gonna be confirmed. I was once ahead of myself. Yeah. I do not like that I'm another hangman's camera though. But thank God I know the answer. What the fuck that counted, bro? Can I get another CD, please? Pat, say Jack, please? Pat! Oh my god, where's my other fucking C? C. O. N. F. E. Oh, I could have kept that E. That was dumb of me to not. R. I need another R. Uh, e. N. Oh, fuck, wrong buttons. I need another O. E R. E wait, E R E N C E. I did really good on that one, actually. I mean, I knew the answer. That helped, but... Possible that it was filmed at the hospital's conference room. Huh? Conference room? But the hospital and the music venue look completely different. That's exactly why the killer did something to make those two places resemble each other. To make the conference room look like the music venue, the killer went ahead and did some work. I've got to make that clear what that work was. Non-stop, or uh, make your argument, which is a non-stop debate. Which place resembled the other? Did the conference room look like the music venue? I knew it. So the killer tried to make the conference room look like the music venue. But, oh wait, it's the other way around. It's the other way around. Oops. There's no way the conference room... And the music venue... Which place resembled... Did the conference room look like the music venue? Or did the music venue look like the conference room? 
That's what I meant. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. I oofed. That was my fault. What the killer did was make the music thingy, the crime scene, look like the conference room. They did that by using the black curtain hanging at the back of the stage. From what I remember, there used to be a really flashy curtain. But after the incident... Yeah. It somehow became a plain black curtain that didn't seem to be the right size. That's right! It's so half-assed, just like Monami. Oh, yeah? Well, your face looks stupid. That curtain was hung so the music venue would look like the conference room? In actuality, even though the curtain in the conference room doesn't stand out, it is a black light blocking curtain that's long enough to reach the floor. I see. The conference room. Indeed, the floor of that room is... the same color as the music venue stage. So the killer chose the conference room because they realized the floor match. Matching floors, matching curtains. I guess it makes sense you'd mistake the two. But that's not all. There should be something else the killer did to tamper with the evidence. Probably. Something else the killer did to make the music venue look like the conference room. It's gotta be that. Crap! Crap! Oh, Mekon is on my case, which I love. Crap! We finally hit a roadblock. I can prove it with this. There it is. Okay. You're referring to the candle in the music video, right? In the video I saw, a candle was used for lighting. But if you think about it, it's pretty strange. The music venue has good light, so there's no reason to even use candlelight. But wouldn't they have done it to make it feel creepier? That might have been another reason, but the main reason was probably to tamper with evidence. The lighting in the conference room and the music venue are so different. They couldn't be used during filming. Yeah. That's why the killer used a candle as film lighting instead. Which means... Are you saying the candle in the music venue wasn't actually used? That candle was likely placed there just to make me think it was the same candle that was used in the video. With candlelight, you can't see things in that much detail. Maybe they were going for that effect. With that cheap-ass camera, it won't capture much in a dark area. As long as this all matches up, it should be no problem to say this is the site. The video I saw wasn't filmed at the music venue. It was actually filmed at the hospital conference room. If I'd found proof that evidence in the conference room was altered, we would have reached an answer sooner. But it appears the killer already covered that up. So I didn't find anything when I went there. But there's no mistake. That's the only place within the connection range of a surveillance camera. Agreed. The motel would have been too far. And the interior design of the movie theater is too distinctive. But this must be a surprising turn of events for Hajime. You never suspected that the video you saw in the hospital was being filmed in the conference room. The incident isn't happening at the scene of a crime. It's occurring in the conference room. I feel like I've heard Bayside cops say that before, but it isn't it the other way around. If Ibuki's hanging video was filmed at the hospital's conference room, then was Ibuki killed at the conference room too? No, that's not possible. Right after Hajime saw that video, he discovered Ibuki's body at the music venue. The video was filmed at the conference room, but Ibuki's body was at the music venue, which means there was a fake somewhere, and that fake must have been... The Ibuki in the conference room. See. The person wearing the hint bag in that video wasn't Ibuki. It was the killer pretending to be Ibuki. The killer put on a hospital gown, wore a hint bag on their head, and was only pretending to be the victim. By that time, the real Ibuki must have already been killed. The actual time of death must have been earlier. 
Probably around midnight or dawn to avoid witnesses. If they took Ibuki from the music venue to the hospital to kill her, there's no way it happened during the day. Correct. So that's what's happened. No matter how quickly I ran, it was impossible for me to rescue Ibuki. At that moment, I was already within the killer's trap. And the one who set the trap for me but was... Why did the killer go to the trouble of making a fake video just so Hajime could go to the crime scene? The reason the killer made a fake video... There's only one possibility I can think of. If I examine that possibility thoroughly, then naturally the killer's identity will reveal itself. Huh? You feed! Are you saying you already know who the killer is? That's right. I should already know. I should have already known who the killer is. What? What? 